to be considered. So Unix, everything is a file? Everything is a file, right. Exactly. And uh, so this shows all of that. So if you just do an LSOF, you know, obviously it's flying by with all sorts of things that it finds. So in order to, you could also pipe this to graph if you were looking for something, but it does have some built-in ways of filtering uh, what you see. It also, one of the things that it does do is all your TCP connections. And that's what it's, that's what all that was hanging on, trying to figure out it looked like IP addresses. And it's uh, still going. So it, uh, it's amazing. When I did this on my server at home, I think it came up with uh, 6,800 files for open, uh, which you, know, you don't think of as being that many. I mean, I had open office open and you know, a few browser windows and a few terminal windows. That was it, and then we said it was like 5,800. So uh, some of the things that you uh, can do with this, uh, if you want to see like for a particular user, you like this jam? Uh, yeah. Okay. If I do minus C, uh, option J, care. Um, no, sorry, it's uh, this one is it's minus U to the user. Uh, all the lowercase and uppercase versions of the commands are totally different. So we do jam here. Uh, no, it actually, uh, when I did it last night, it was without space. But You're doing oh, so uh, so uh, so That's You're it. Doing Hello, yeah. 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 So used to doing a lot. So that's all. all yeah. And if we, uh, let me pipe this. Yeah. You're up. Control C. Yeah. What I was going to do is pipe it more so you can actually see what this shows. Um, going across the top, uh, you got the command, the process ID, the user. Um, this is the file descriptor. And C is the current working directory. RT is, uh, this is the root directory. And then it's got a host of like 40 different things that it can show you. Um, as you see in here, mem. Um, there was, oh, that was the one, uh, that's the page back in. This 0U, 1U, 3U, 4U. Um, had to do, so this has to do with, uh, I didn't actually write down when I read about that, but it was, had to do with like, something to do with, um, I'm not saying connections, but uh, it was showing the characters, and that was like, one, two, three, it said these were like, the user read, write, it said, I'm, I'm not, I'm not really sure what those are, but anyway, um, you've got the, the major and minor number, it's the device, which is like what the 252, two is, the size, uh, it'll also show you the offset into it. I guess the file's open and where the pointer is currently in the file, and then the path. So if you wanted to see too, like uh, just the files that are open by a certain uh, program, I can do like minus C F. And in this case, it will show me everything that's open by Firefox. So that this can be used for debugging. Sometimes uh, I've gotten things where you try to uh, close out something and it'll say the file's busy. It's like, well, wait a minute, I don't have anything that's got that open. This, you can use this to determine what's open and what might be hanging. It's interesting that this thing, uh, it must be because of the internet connections. I mean, that, that it's, it's Yeah, testing. it's probably a way um, to tell it to uh, not do DNS lookup. Yeah, it's trying to put names with the IP address. I didn't remember seeing an option to do that, but uh, it may very well have that. It, as I said, it's got literally hundreds of options if you yeah. look at the connections. You can, or the combinations. You can also tell the options that you want them to be and or or. So that you can look for you know, multiple things at the same time with an uh, and uh, when you're looking for uh, either particular strings or program or users. Uh, internet connections. I did a uh, SOF minus I for interface and my TCP. Then this is where it will show then all the current TCP connections and also the programs that have those open. Yeah, see, yeah, I guess it must be doing well. You know what? Yeah, yeah, try dash n. Yeah, it's just trying to put names with the IP addresses. Yeah. Yeah, now it's IP addresses. Yeah. Okay, so is there, you were showing like files, right? Open files? Mm -hmm. Is there a way of doing a specific open file? What do you mean, a? Yeah. So I want to know what's, what's holding up this specific file. I want to, um, last night I was trying to delete a file. And it said there's, you know, and so I can remove my USB key thing. <laughs> and it was saying it, it's in use. So. You're trying to unmount a file system. Yeah. That is, that's, that's why I use LSOF. I'm trying to unmount a file system. I can't unmount it because the file system's busy, which means somebody's got a file open. 
on that file system, LSOF is a great way to figure that out. So Another tool that's that? more focused toward that is Fuser at USER. Fuser? Fuser. Find cool. Fuser. Oh, cool. Oh, and that's not one that I've used on, uh, for that. But it's yeah, not, it's more more for exactly that problem. Okay. I mean LSOF LSOF is like the kitchen sink. Yeah, Swiss Army knife. Well, yeah. it really is. I mean, this okay. is this is the man page on it. I'm just going to scroll cool. through this very quickly. But the, as you can see, all the options. I mean, it, it's it's crazy, and uh, it does say the outputs are a little different between the different flavors of AIX, uh, Linux, FreeBSD, and Solaris. Um, I did want to get down to the. Uh, let's see, this is about these. This is describing all the options of how to use. Yeah. Them that um, there was down around uh, 1200 is where it described what the output in the different way. Here's the command, and then these are the, yeah. this, the, the different output, um, what, what it's showing. And then, the, as I was saying about the file descriptors, these are all the different file descriptors, uh, the different characters, the different modes, uh, types. So it really shows you know, a lot about the system and what's currently open. That's the file. Oh, uh, locks too. It gets into all sorts of talk about uh, files being locked and they're multiple locked. And, and so, if you're having trouble with that, uh, probably with some type of maybe database, that would be helpful. Yeah. You can also roll your own output. Um, if you wanted to get this output in a certain stream to feed it into some other parser, uh, you, it has, I'll say, like a printout like format. These are all the different fields that are currently shown here. And then you can also tell that you want this output uh, to a stream as opposed to output to the screen so that you can feed it instead of some type of filter. Cool. This is still the man page. So it went on like if I had printed it, it would have been about 20 printed pages, I think. So I didn't print it. <laughs> so. Also, it was written by a professor and it shows. Yeah, 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 absolutely. <laughs> uh, I'm talking about my technical professor. Because he got one of his grad students to write the documentation. Yeah, yeah, there you go. No, no, he wrote it. I'm pretty sure he wrote it himself. Uh, Questions? Whatever happened to Unix says, uh, our commands do one thing, but do one thing very well, as you can change Pearl. them together. Yeah. Well, this tries to do it very well and giving you every, every conceivable the option. Of the, of the file, so. It fits right in, but everything is a file. Yeah, it does. Okay, so, um, I mean, you're not going to show us individual parameters, I'm sure, because of that. But the one thing I want to know is how do I find out who's using my one file? Well, okay. I mean, you, can grab you don't know that. Okay. Output, obviously, yeah. for a name, but I mean, there is probably one of these parameters has to do with okay. the All right. name of file. Oh, so minus F space file name. I Who's got it over? What's the name of the file that I want to uh, check? Uh, dash no. L. Dash F. Yeah, Space just saying slash. that. Slash. Who's got the root file system open? Nah, it's not. It's not F. Slash. There is an F and G. F, G, you know, it says yeah. option here, but. Well, I'm sure. So. Give man pages your friend. Yeah. Well, and well it's 20 pages, though. Well, sure to read, well, so. try, try F user slash dev slash no. Yeah. User. Just for grins. Also, I have no, 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 user. user. F -E -F -U -S -C -R slash dev no? Yeah. yeah. So those that's are the all process. the processes using it. Nice. Very nice. How can you can you put a name to that? So I mean, if you wanted to see what the name of what the programs were, as opposed to yeah. looking yeah. up all those, minus P space all those process ID. Well, yeah, go look up. Go look up fifty process ID. Usually, usually, so. usually yeah. you're not. Trying to go unmodified. No. That's usually trying to kill process. B. B. Yeah. B is in verbose. Mm -hmm. Usually it's something. Yeah. Oh, there you there. go. There you go. So that was the file name. Yeah. And then, yeah, that's, that's very handy. That is very handy. So now we can write down that we wrote something, we found something new on our little yellow sheets today, right? <laughs> All right. Thank you very much. Okay.